Yo, what's up YouTube? So today is January 9th, 2023. Happy New Year. I haven't posted a video since like around Thanksgiving. I think that was my last um, video I uploaded. So some of you probably wondering if anything happened to me. I'm good. You know, um, I did have some um, a minor health issue last week I had to go to the ER but it turns out it was just anxiety um, and dehydration um, I got a um, pretty I actually kind of been slacking off on my regimen I have a, a specific regimen that I follow daily routine you know when I wake up I have a morning afternoon and evening regimen that I follow to kind of keep myself healthy and I have, I've been kind of slacking off. I've been eating more sugar than usual. You know, I've been eating more salt than usual. Um, I've been staying up kind of late. I haven't really been sleeping. And I stayed up real late New Year's Eve. Um, probably later than I should have. I probably should have went to bed like at 1 a.m. But I stayed up kind of, you know, so. And last week I ain't been excellent. Like I just kind of been slacking off like last week. So basically this week I plan on just kind of tightening up and, and just you know taking better care of myself like I like I'm supposed to just you know I, I I haven't been taking my medicine all kind of stuff I you know I've just been slacking off all together you know but um I just want to make this video um oh first of all the reason why I haven't been making videos lately is because I've been on TikTok um I feel like I've been having better results on TikTok than I get on YouTube um, the YouTube platform is nice, but I feel like I'm just not, I'm not getting what I'm really, hold on a second, somebody's calling me, I keep getting these spam calls, but, um, I've been blocked, I've been, I didn't block like 20 numbers last week, I keep getting all these spam numbers, just a piece of advice, don't give your information out, like when you sign up for stuff online, and they ask for your name and your phone number and your email, just know that you're going to get spammed, they take that information and I think they sell it to different companies and they spam you real bad. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking about, um, I'm actually thinking about changing my number and, and changing, getting a new email. But um, anyway, um, I've been making videos on TikTok. Hold on, give me one second. Hold on. Yeah, I've been making videos. Who's this? Who's this? Um, um, forgot. Oh yeah, I've been on TikTok making videos, and uh, I feel like I've been getting better results. Like I said, um, so uh, I don't know. I just that's why I've been slacking out. So I have been making videos and stuff. I have been making a lot of content. I've actually been doing some animation and stuff too, but um, I just don't. Um, ever since I got back on TikTok, you know, what are you doing, cat? You silly cat. This is this is Kitty right here. She don't like to be in a camera or anything. But um, ever since I ever since I got back on TikTok, I've been getting better results. So I feel like I'm I'm gonna be on TikTok a lot more. I think eventually I might leave YouTube altogether. I'm thinking about it. Um, it's under the same name, Jay Alexander, same name, but it doesn't have the last king at the end. So it's under the same name. Um, so basically, the reason I want to make this video is what I want to talk about is you know since we're in a new year, you know and. One thing I want to mention is, you know, when you say you're going to do something, you should do it. You know, um, a time comes in your life when you have to stop making excuses. The time comes when when you say you're going to do something, you do that thing that you say you're going to do. You know, um, you have some people who say they're going to stop smoking, they're going to stop drinking. They're going to lose weight. They're going to um, um, do this and do that. And then five years go by and you still haven't done it. You know, 
And when somebody asks you about it, you make all these these excuses of why you haven't done the thing that you said that you're going to do, you know, and the time comes when that is no longer acceptable. You know, um, time comes when, you know, you're a grown adult and you're too old to keep saying that you're going to do something, but yet you never do it. You know, the time comes when your your words and your actions have to match each other. You know, the time comes when you, you got you to say, you know, I'm a grown adult, you're old, you, or you're too old to be walking around uh, still haven't done anything that you say you're going to do. You know, you're too old to be, or, or you do it, but you don't, uh, you, you somewhat do it. No, when you say you're going to do something, you do it and you do it all the way. You do it to the fullest. You don't just kind of sort of do it. You actually do it. And, you know, that's integrity. And I feel like once you become an adult, you know, once you reach a certain, especially once you reach a certain age in your adulthood, you know, you get to that age where you can no longer say, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And then years go by and you still haven't done it. Or you keep saying you're going to do it and you never do it. Like, you're too old for that. The times when you, you the time comes when you, you are, you got to grow up and you really got to start holding your word. You know, like they say, your word is your bond. And that's very true. You know, word is your bond is... There was a time when your word was, people used to hold their word to the highest caliber. Like when you said something, you do that thing you say you're going to do. Um, you got some people back in the day that, that used to die just to uh, to hold their word. Their word was that important. This cat is, is walking around. You know, their word, they, they held their word to such a high degree or to such a high honor that you were willing to die just to just to say that you're able just to say that you were that you you held your word that you are a man of your word or you are a woman of your word you know and you know I've I've learned that a long time ago you know I I'm 35 years old and I realized that my life will probably be a whole lot better if I had done the things like doing my 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 twenties, my teens, my twenties, and, and even maybe in my early thirties, you know, if I had done what I said I was going to do, my life would probably be a lot better. I would have I would have saved a lot of time, you know, you know. Um, that's actually procrastination. You know, procrastination. Is is when you is is when you say you're gonna do something, but you you say I'll do it later, I'll do it later, and you still haven't done it. You know that's procrastination. You know, and um, to me, you just have to be honest. Don't make any promises. You know um, that you can't keep. You know, so like I said, the the time comes in your life when you have to you have to start doing the things that you say you're gonna do, not just the other people, but the things that you tell yourself. When you tell yourself. That you're going to do something that you're going to change or you're going to do this or you're going to do that. You need to do it. You know, stop. It's, it's time to stop saying you're going to do stuff and not do it. You need to start doing what you say you're going to do. Your actions and your words need to start matching. You know, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't, uh, be this way where you don't, where you don't hold your word and then complain that people don't respect you while people don't um, they don't they don't uh, seem to trust you people you don't trust pe people not gonna trust you when you say you're gonna do something you, you'll never do what you say you're gonna do nobody's gonna trust you like that when you say you're gonna be somewhere at a certain time you make sure you get there at a certain time that's one thing I never like about people who are always late all the time. Like when you say you're going to be somewhere at a certain time and, you're, and you never show up at that time, something is wrong. Those be the same type of people who will say they'll, uh, they'll do something for you or they're going to, you know, you know, you know, those people who just say they're going to do things and never do the things that they're going to say. You know, those same type of people, they never show up the time that they say they're going to show up. Neither. They're always late. 
They're never on time. Maybe once in a while, hit or miss, but they usually don't. They don't. They don't. Um, they don't stick to their commitments, even if it's just something simple as just get, getting somewhere at a, at a certain time. You know. Um, so uh, one thing I learned is you gotta you gotta do what you say you're gonna do, and you have to um, you have to try to try to uphold your word with all your might. You know, do everything in your might to hold up your word. Like if you say you're gonna lose 25 pounds in the next six months, you do everything in your might to lose 25 pounds, no matter what. Why? Because that's what you said you were gonna do. See, the fact that you did not do what you said you were gonna do should be enough to make you feel ashamed. It should, it should make you feel ashamed enough to motivate you to do better. Because you didn't do, you should feel bad when you don't do what you said you're going to do. Even the things that you tell yourself. That's integrity, you know. So, um, I guess that's all I really want to say. Because I, I think that's what I, I want to say for, for the new for the new year. Is, is your word is your bond. And um, uphold your word. You know, don't, don't, um, don't make promises you can't keep. Um, and when you make a promise, you keep it, even if it's to yourself. Because, um, you know, the, the worst thing, see, letting people down is bad, but it's not as bad as letting yourself down. When you let yourself down, that's when you really start feeling depressed. That's when you really start losing confidence in yourself. And um, because you, you almost like you, you, you can't even depend on yourself to do it's almost it's so bad that you can't even depend on yourself to do things for yourself like that's worse like that's worse than that's worse than somebody else breaking their promise to you like how bad is it you can't depend on yourself not only depend on other people but you can't even depend on yourself you know check with somebody else on Somebody's taking out the trash. First, I thought somebody was knocking on the door or something at first. But yeah, I guess that's all I really want to say, really. You know, these, this year I got a lot of plans. I've, I'm going to do a lot of different things. Like I said, I'm taking better care of my health. I'm saying it, so I will do it. You hear me saying it? So I'm, I will do what I say I'm going to do, no matter what. I'm going to do what I say, and, you know, I'm going to... Even if I got to make sacrifices just to be able to meet whatever thing that I said. As long as I, long as I you understand what I'm saying? That's the right kind of attitude to have, you know? So, um, I have a lot of other things that I plan on doing this year, this month actually. Hopefully, I'll finish my class this, this year, this uh, month of January. I can't make no promises on that, but hopefully I can um, finish this class I wanna, I'm taking right now. Um, I really want to be done. I should have been done probably last year, but um, I'm trying to get it done. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, so there's a few things. I don't like to tell everything that I, all my plans are, but um, basically, I guess that's it for now. You know, um, it's already 1.38, man. Half hour when it went by. So I need to I need to get something to eat. So uh, I talk to y'all. I don't know if I'm maybe I, I I'll, I'll probably make another video probably. Um, but like I said, I'm on TikTok a lot more, so um, that's where I'll probably mostly be, and, and that's actually where my best videos like these videos I make on YouTube. These are not high quality videos. Like on TikTok, that's where I put my quality. I use like I said, I use animation. I use a lot of different uh, effects. Like I get my videos to really look like how I want to have better sound quality. Yeah, because I, I use better I use better equipment and software when I go on TikTok. So I, I take TikTok more seriously than I than I do YouTube. Is basically what I want to say. So this video is getting kind of long. So I guess I'll talk to y'all next time. It's January 9th, two thousand twenty-three, and I hope y'all have a good year have a good start if you're having a bad start just get through it and just do what you can all right so next time